to a TV studio in London. 150 up. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. And welcome to a brand new video. We're Global Thrifters. My name's Jack. And I'm Emily. And together we're a full-time reseller couple here in the UK. So we just wanted to say a massive thank you to you guys for all of your support as we've just hit 1,000 subscribers. Yeah, can't believe it. It's definitely come around a lot quicker. I'll say quicker, I wasn't really expecting it in the first place. <laughs> but really grateful. Definitely. Really, really grateful. And yeah, we're just so happy that you guys are on this journey with us. Mm. And we also just wanted to say a massive congratulations to Ian at Master of Pieces. Definitely. Absolutely amazing channel and yeah. he's such a great guy. Yeah, well deserved. We, we hit 1k at the same time as he did and yeah, couldn't have picked a better guy to do it with. So if you haven't already checked out Ian's channel, make sure you head over now and subscribe. Definitely. It's at Master of Pieces. We'll leave a link in the description box. So as mentioned in our Thursday live stream, to enter the 1k giveaway, Make sure you subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button. And comment down below. And we will announce the winners in our Thursday live stream next week. Yeah, we've got two prizes to give away. So you've got to be in it to win it. So in today's video, we're going to be back at the car boot buying. Yep, so we've got a bit of live footage to show you us picking up a few of the bits. And then we'll get back and we'll do a haul for you guys. So without further ado, let's get... Drifting! So we had a bit of a... Lion. <laughs> a bit of a lion, morning. yeah. <laughs> so basically we set the alarm for four o'clock to head to the A3. Didn't wake up. I think we were tired. I think we needed yeah. to sleep. So we've got an extra couple of hours. We woke up at six o'clock. Yeah, with no alarm or anything, just went it's Very lucky, Bing. lucky, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna have a look around. We've got a queue, but it doesn't look too bad. And it looks like quite a lot yeah, of Yeah, it's the first time so. at Titchfield. So we'll, we'll give it a go, get in the queue and see what we find. Oh, two dinosaurs. Dinosaurs, a pound each, mate. Pound each. I think they had your department. There's a box of skeleton ones at the back there somewhere, mate. There is more to come out somewhere. I haven't quite got there yet. No, no worries, man. Um, I'll take that one, cheers, dude. Um, you can try one. Pound? Yeah. Pound? And him? Okay. Sorry, but go on. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Quit on there as well. Yeah. Right, two. Uh, mum. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I owe you two for them bits I've put in the trolley so far, right? Yeah, Just so. Lovely, up to date with you. Yeah. And what about um, them bits there? Uh, <laughs> and the model kit? Uh, that's 40 quid at the moment. Is it really? Yeah. Right, I'm moving bits off there. Gentlemen, iPod? Pound. Pound, do you know if it works? No, I have no idea. It's fine. PS2? Uh, PS2 is a fiver. Fiver. Right, let me know. <laughs> We like this, man. We're going home now. We're see what the total is. Uh, what have you got? So I've got two, two, two things in there. there. And that. Five, six, seven, eight quid. Oh. And that's our ten, ten are all in? Twelve, twelve quid. All in. <laughs> How about meet me in the middle at four? Yeah. Thank you very much. Have a good day. So we've just done a first stop back to the van. Got some good bits. Did have. Did miss a good pickup at one van. I thought he was trade. There's loads of good stuff. But yeah, picked up a few good bits. I'll show you when we get back. Do a couple of quid on it? No, it's me. Probably three, is it? Yeah. And we'll take that, thank you. You've got the, 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 the chairs that the don't say they match. Oh, no. No, no, she's gonna definitely not go. <laughs> it's similar, it's similar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um but yeah, no, we like that. Yeah, go on, we'll, we'll have a go. We'll have a go. And that was probably used by three. All three of us. 
<laughs> I'm nostalgic. <laughs> right, let me uh, pay the ladies. Got to look just in case anything else. You, know I mean? you never know. Right, so we've just got back in the van, just finished, and it is sweating. Yeah. I mean, it's proper hot, I'm sweating. <laughs> it's about 20 to 9. So, yeah, we've gone, gone around, bought a few bits. Yeah, not done too bad. Not done too bad at all. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we'll get back and show you what we find. And we are back. Yes, so hopefully you saw us pick up a few things there. As always, the footage is a little bit all over the place, but we try and show you what we're finding. A little bit mm -hmm. of haggling and just, yeah, how we buy things at the car boot. You love a haggle. I do love a haggle. <laughs> So obviously as we missed our alarm, we had to go to a new car boot, which we've never been before. Yep. And it was one where you have to queue to get in, which we don't usually go to them, do no, we? No, I, I, couldn't, I, couldn't, I couldn't do it. I stood there and I was waiting at the rope and I was... Eager beaver. Yeah, I could see stuff that I wanted to get. But we weren't too far back in the queue, so as soon as everyone it. was allowed in, we yeah. made it there. We did get shouted at though, because I think was, you meant to go the first row, second row, all, mm -hmm. all the way, everyone stays in order. Um, and we just sort of just darted down one side. We did stick to the one-way system, so... Yes, yes. But, in my eyes, being spread out, it, you, don't all, you don't want all the buyers down the first row the first time. So, we found a few bargains down there, mm -hmm. we let them have them bargains there, everyone's happy. So yeah, now we're going to show you what we got, what we paid, and what we hope to sell it for. Let's get into it. So you might have seen in the first bit of footage that Jack was running to this dinosaur. <laughs> So we picked this up and it was actually bundled together with a few bits. This is the Jurassic World Indominus Rex. Yes. Indominus Rex. Indominus Rex. Something like that. <laughs> we do try and buy the Jurassic World Jurassic Park toys whenever we can. They always sell well. They're always good. Mm -hmm. This one worked out about a pound. And we've currently listed it for £30. Yes, a good twenty nine ninety five. And the sounds all work, so cool. And from the same family, and you might have seen in the footage, we've got a few more bits. We've picked this up later on. Another Jurassic World item. It's called a data file. Ended up paying about 50p, I think, for it later. Still got a few of the stickers unused inside. And it's from 1997. I think it's, yeah, it's from Tetley. So it's when they done the coins. You might recognise that if you've seen that before. But that is listed for 12.95 for 50p. Very happy with that. We also picked up this Wii U game. This is the Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. And it also comes with the original figures. These are Isabella and Rigby. Yep, got that listed for 9 95 And it costs us about two or three pound. Because we paid five pound mm -hmm. with this. They're not high value items, but it's just the things that keep ticking over. Yep, bread and butter money. This is listed for, I think, 10 to 15. It's actually Super Mario. Only one had sold online for about 10. So it's got a cool little storage box. I think that will sell quickly. So you may have seen on our Instagram that we sold a gripper light mm -hmm. and also an anchor wars light. And it actually went to a TV studio in London. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. That's awesome. Really looking forward to maybe one day seeing it somewhere. <laughs> I don't know, probably not. But it's just a, a cool place to, to sell to. As we sold the last gripper light for £20, we picked up another one. So this is the Britison Gripper Work Industrial Light. Yeah, made in England. They're pretty cool. They're originally probably for mechanics, mm -hmm. work in a garage, long cable, you can get around the car or whatever you're working on. But they can also be repurposed, can they? Yeah, it's quite industrial sort of lighting. But they're pretty cool. They're a bit rusty and everything, but I think it adds to its character. So we paid £3 for this, and hopefully we should get the 1995 once again. Walking past, did spot some fans, memorabilia, sporting stuff. I just saw the top of it there, and I saw this, and I thought... It was one of the old Gladiators ones from the TV show. <laughs> I think my brother had one um, when we were growing up and I just recognised it and I thought it was that. But I went over to the lady, picked it up and I noticed it was Blue Jays, which I believe is a baseball team in Canada. Toronto. She had the flag as well and it's dated 1998. Just cool things. I don't really know their value. We paid 50 pence each on them and I would like to think they're at least £10 the pair of them. Mm. Could be £20. But they're the sort of things you're not really going to find in the UK much mm. unless, like this lady, gone over to Canada, bought it and brought it home. So we'll have to wait and see. So while walking past another stool, M did spot... It's an egg. <laughs> they must have hatched in the wild. <laughs> so this is a chilli mini fridge. It's obviously a retro one. Handles this side. <laughs> and yeah, it's just so cool. 
I mean, I sort of want to keep it, but it's not very practical and you can't really fit much in. Gonna but... get a few beers in there. Can't <laughs> get enough in there. So we picked this up for fourteen pound, and yes. looking at comps online, they're sort of selling for around forty pound. Yeah, so... 40, 45. I mean, M spotted it going past. They ended up for eighteen. Um, I still offered him ten, mm -hmm. but he wouldn't. He wouldn't take it. Um, and we we thought fourteen is okay. Like forty to forty five from yeah. fourteen, we'll take that. And we love retro stuff. Anything Definitely. edgy and quirky. <laughs> a bit different. Is up our street. Yes. <laughs> so next up, we've got a Sylvanian families bundle. So we picked up the cozy cottage with without dropping them <laughs> loads of furniture and three people three characters we love picking this up obviously it sells better in the box but if you get a good bundle yeah. with accessories and furniture then it does sell really yeah, well it's worth like we might pay 50 p or a pound just for one of the houses obviously that you pay more for the bigger houses but when you've got a few of the oh, hey. yeah. <laughs> when you've got a few of the figures especially the furniture it's worth picking up we've listed this for 25 probably maybe take an offer of 20 but we only paid Band. So I'm happy with that. We do like picking up Doll's House furniture as well. There's always one to look out for. The old wooden yeah. stuff really can do well. We picked up this Oxford Sports motorbike bag. It's quite cool. I believe you put your map in the front there. It sits on top of your petrol tank and yeah, it's right away. <laughs> we paid £3 for it. I believe it has bungees inside because it's meant to have some straps on here. So mm. that may affect its value. But if it still works, still functions, people will still buy it. Paid £3, should hope to get at least 20 I like selling bags and motorbike gear, and especially stuff that can't get damaged yeah. in the post. We've said it before, we can chuck it in a big mailer bag or just easy in, in a box, and it will go, no problems, easy peasy, let's make some money. <laughs> so you would have seen in the footage that we picked up this Volkswagen camper model. So this is made from tin, and yeah, we just like the look yeah. of these, really. It's a vintage style, it's not yeah. got any age to it at all. It's just a great topic of interest. People yeah. love the old camper vans, the Volkswagens, especially the split screens. They're just real retro, and yeah, it's an easy sale. We paid three, and what's it listed for? It's listed for 15. So not big money, but it'll pay the bills. It's an interest of ours as well. We probably won't go for one like this, but we really want to do a van conversion. Travel in as you work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That'll be videos for another time. <laughs> this. Yes. Now, we'll show you some footage of it laid out, but this is basically a 1960s, 70s sun lounger, which yep. I am in love with. Yeah, I said we could flip it with this weather quickly, but apparently we're keeping it. We're keeping it for a while and then we'll flip it. Maybe we'll flip it next summer. <laughs> In a few years? We paid 20, the lady was asking 25, mm -hmm. and she had said a lot of people had already looked at it today, yeah. but no one had got it out. It was folded up, leant against the table, yeah. and as soon as I unfolded it, everyone started looking at it. So I feel it would have sold much quicker if you had it opened up. But you might have seen on Instagram, we did try before we buy. I had a little <laughs> sit on it, it felt good. So we purchased it. It's absolutely incredible. And even after we bought it, we were rolling it in our trolley and everyone was coming up to us saying, wow, that's so cool. Yeah. I didn't see that. Yeah. So. And they do go online between 60 and 80. Yeah. So 20 pound into that would have been a good profit. But for now, I'm on a 20 pound loss. Pending. <laughs> the last purchase before we'll show you the bundle that really made the day worth it. It's going to be some good profit in there. This is... Doctor Who. Yes. Internal playset for the TARDIS. Basically it's the bit inside the TARDIS. We'll put a photo up here of it boxed but we'll get an idea of what it looks mm -hmm. like. If you find a boxed one, definitely pick that up. We've <laughs> sold that before for some good money. But this will still do as well. So what do we pay for this? We paid £4. So the man had it up for 5 we offered 3 and we met in the middle at 4 Yeah, happy to do that. We need to spend some time building it. Who's going to build it? Well obviously you are. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, even if it's not complete, there's still profit in there for parts. But a complete one is about £40. So 4 into 40 again guys, 10 times in our money, we're happy with that sort of profit. So as you mentioned earlier, we got a massive bundle of stuff from a guy that we didn't get on film. He had a few good bits down there, mm. and at first, my initial reaction was probably that he's trade. But this is why it's always worth an ask. He said it was his dad's stuff, his granddad's stuff, and yeah, the prices were fair. So we picked up a few bits. So first up are a couple of RC items. Mm -hmm. This pleasure boat. It appears to be missing a few of its guts, its insides, <laughs> but it's got, it does still have the motor inside, and even an empty shell would still sell online, still worth picking up. It's a good scale, it's a good size, it does need a good clean as well. 
but I would like to think we could still get £30 for this. Next up, we picked up this RC jet ski. Now, this is made by a German company called Rob. Robbie? This is the 1066 model, which is called the Sea Jet. So it obviously needs a good clean up and unfortunately the insides are a bit seized up. I'm pretty sure someone's going to buy it for just the show anyway and they would revamp mm. it and put their own engine in. Yeah, they've sold online brand new from like 150 up. Mm -hmm. So, and as low as 70 for a used one. So even seized up as it is, I would like to think at least 50 pound. But we're going to aim a bit higher and see where it goes. So one of the first times for us, we have bought <laughs> a clock. This is an industrial, would have been maybe in a factory, and it is made by Blick International. Yes, it's probably got a bit of age to it, I don't know when exactly, but it doesn't have a battery compartment. It appears that it would be hardwired into the factory. I can understand, someone doesn't have to keep going up and changing the battery. <laughs> Found one online, parts are not working, it had sold for 17. I couldn't find the exact same one working, but others by the same brand for 50 to 100. So it really depends on if it works, I think. The plan is to give it a test, find out if it's working or not, and then we'll list it accordingly. Yeah, so minimum £15. And like we said, we paid 15 for everything. So I'm happy with that. <laughs> a whole new world. So this is Disney's Aladdin Magic Flying Carpet. And as you can see, the box is a little bit tatty. See better days. We've put batteries in and tested it, and it's pretty cool. You put it on a hard surface. <laughs> floats. So yeah, we've listed this for 1995 plus postage. Yeah, and because it was in the bundle, all this is adding up now. So it really does pay off to bundle things together and hopefully, once you sell it all, the quid's in. Right, so that was a haul. Yeah, hopefully you saw a few bits there that we picked up to flip on eBay and hopefully make a profit. Titchfield was good today. We did pick up a few yeah. bits and we had a little bit of a lane. <laughs> so once again I just wanted to say a big thank you to you guys for sitting there and watching our videos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And for subscribing. So just another reminder of how to enter our giveaway. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And comment down below. Let us know what your favourite item was. Or just say, I want to enter the giveaway. <laughs> and we will be announcing the winners on this Thursday's live stream with Ian Master of Pieces on at 8. Yes. And there's two prizes to win. The first one... Amazon gift card. And the second one... One of our bags from Reborn Rewild. It is the Blue Adventure Pack, made from Himalayan hemp and organic cotton. Great for the car boots, or to even resell yourself. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you soon for a brand new video. Take care, guys.